what's going on voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas welcome back to the channel today we're going to be taking a look at software instrument channel scripts and the defaults so as you probably know every time you instantiate a new software instrument track in logic or you uh, start a new project with a software instrument track it comes up with the classic electric piano track one classic electric piano group and what if you want to start with something else case in point you might be a complete control user and you want to reset this to a blank channel strip so that you can instantiate an instance of complete control without any of the reverbs or anything that are on this classic electric piano channel strip. And if you're using the Logic Keyboard Ninja key commands, you can just do command option return. Track one and two, group. And that will create a blank channel strip. You can now say add complete control to this or any of the Logic soft synths that you want to start out with. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and add complete control to this one. So command two. Now in untitled one. I'm in the mixer. Small rooms in two. Partial in two. Partially setting off off MIDI plugin button. And I'm just gonna navigate button. to where it says in. So I just interacted with the channel strip. I press VO home to jump to the top of the channel strip, and then I VO right arrow over to where it says in, which is a slot right after where it says MIDI effects. I'm gonna VO space on this. Menu 33, recent De complete control sub menu. And there's complete control. So I'm just gonna hit return on that. Logic Pro Busy. Ins2 Dialog. Ins2. All right, so we got complete close control button. loaded up here. Close I'm going to close button. this. Now in. And let's jump back to the main window. So I'm going to close the mixer here. Tracks, group, tracks, group. In tra tracks, tracks, header. In tra track one, ins2, group. All right, so now I'm just going to rename this track. Ins2, content selected, edit text. Selection read O-N-P-L-E-T-E. Complete. K-O-N-T-R-O-L. Control. Complete control. Track one complete control. Group. And as you probably know, you can go into a library and save this as a patch. So you can always pull up a patch that starts off with the default complete control instance. And we'll jump into the library right now and take a look at how to do that. So if we stop interacting Adopt, here. Adopt. Inspector. Group. Library. Group. Go into the library. Say button. And if we press VO end once we're in the library, if you're on a laptop, once again, that's VO FN and the right arrow you'll get to a save button. And if I view space on the save button. Save patches, dialog, save patch as, save as. Complete control patch, content selected. Complete save control it. patch. All right, so now we got that patch saved as complete control patch. I'm gonna press view end to jump to the end of this dialog. Save button. Hit save. Now in, untitled one, tracks, window. And now whenever we create a new track, we can come into the library, go to user patches, and under user patches will be this complete control patch that we just saved. And by default, it's going to give it the name of whatever you named the track. So you can always type in a new name in that save dialog or just let it name it whatever that track is currently named. Now, the next thing I want to look at in here is if we veal left arrow to the tools dialog. Delete, button, button, tools, pop up button. And go to this tools Menu, pop up items. button. Define as default. We can define as default. And that means whenever we instantiate a new software instrument it's going to come up with whatever this patch is so um define as default do that and now let's go back to the track headers here inspect tracks group in tra tra tracks in tra tracks tracks header group in track track one complete control all right so now if i do command option s to add a new software instrument to this track track two complete control you see track two is also complete control so instead of it instantiating a track with the classic electric piano it just brought up our complete control patch that we created earlier so you can set anything as your default patch by going to that tools menu and then going to define as default all right now let's say you made a mistake and you want to reset this back to the default so let's stop interacting here inspector library group go back to the library Seven items. Port search sound. Library tools. Pop up button. There's a tools pop up button. VO space Menu. on this. Define as default. Clear user default. And then if we clear user default. Clear user default. Now when I add a new track. Out of tracks. Track in track tracks. Group tracks. Come back group. to the track headers here. In track tracks tracks header group in track track two complete control group. Now when I add a new track. Track three classic electric piano. Track three classic electric piano. It's back to being the classic electric piano. Now. Here's one minor caveat. We can't set a blank patch as a default. So remember, we can make this a blank channel script by pressing command option return. Track three and three, group. All right, so now that's a blank channel script again. And look what happens when we go into a library and go to tools. Auto, 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 auto. Inspector, group. 
Library, group, in library, group. Search, library, tools, pop up button. And if we go to tools, Menu. define as default, dim. You see, define as default is dimmed. So we can't save a blank channel strip as our default patch. However, there is a workaround for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close this project. Closing I'm going to escape out of this. I'm just going to close this project. Don't save. All right. So now I'm going to create a new project here. Choose default. Choose I'm just going to do choose. choose. In new track, dialog, one, contents, number, cancel, button, one, contents, software instrument, selected, radio button, one of six. You want to make sure you have a software instrument track. So on this screen where it asks you what you want to load into the project, make sure software instrument is selected. And then we're going to go down to the details group. Audio, drummer, external, guitar, victim, radio, details, details, group. Interact with this details detail, group. Patch, pop up button. And default patch, you can set what you want your default patch to load up as. Menu 27, alchemy, submenu, drum kit designer, drum synth, EFM1, ESE, ESM, ESP, ES1, synthesizer 1, submenu. You can set any of these to come up as the default patch when the project starts. ES2, Evit 20 PF, quick sampler, retro synth, sampler, mult sculpture, mult studio horns, studio strings, ultra beat, vintage V3 orc, vintage claps, vintage electric piano, vintage melatron, utility, sub AU generators, sub AU instruments, AU MIDI controlled effect, AU MIDI controlled effects, empty channel strip. But if you go all the way to the top, I just went down that list so you can see, you can pick any of the logic soft synths, you can go into the AU instruments sub menu and pick any third party soft synth to come up as your default as well. But if you go all the way to the top i just press be at home to jump up here to the top empty channel strip and empty channel strip is the option so if you view space on this empty channel strip check it will now load up an empty channel Auto strip detail. create default create default so if button. i view space on that dialog closing dialog uh, once this project loads, it will load up with a blank channel strip. Library, group, inspector, tracks, tracks, in track, track, tracks, in tra tracks, time, tracks, header, in track, track, one, in one, group. And you see it now it loads up with a blank channel strip. And this will remain the default until you change it in the details group when you're creating a new project in the future. That's it for this one. To recap, if you want to make a channel strip blank, if you have a channel strip with something on it already and you want to blank it out to start from scratch, you can use command option return if you're using the logic keyboard ninja key commands to do that if you want to save a channel strip as your default so every time you create a new software instrument patch it will load up with that channel strip once you have the channel strip set up the way you want you go into the library you go to the tools pop-up button and you select define as default if you make a mistake and you want to undo what your default is and set it back to the logic default then you just go to that tools pop-up button in the library and select the clear user defaults and then that will set it back to load up with the classic electric piano every time you create a new software instrument track and also if you want a blank patch to be what you start with you just got to select that when you create a new project so create a new project on the second screen when you create a new project when it asks you what type of track you want to start the project with you can select software instrument and then go into the details group and pick a different software instrument or pick the empty patch option all right and just so you are aware you can do the same with audio patches as well so this isn't limited to instrument tracks you can do the same with audio and other track types as well that's it for this tutorial thank you so much for checking this out hope you found that useful and helpful please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to logic and voiceover if you'd like to support the channel you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me logic.band link in the description below you can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding logic or if you're new to mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover you can and visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring and once again there is a link to that in the description below also don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on youtube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial as always everyone until next time happy recording